Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my nails using Color Street nail strips. I have a Halloween theme that I am planning. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Okay, I'll be doing my nails today, as I said, with Color Street nail strips. This is one of my favorite ways to do my nails. They last very long. They look like a gel manicure without all the UV damage that can happen with a gel manicure. Um, they're very inexpensive. The options are adorable. Um, there's holiday themes. There's all kinds of festive little options. And uh, yeah, so maybe you can do your nails at the same time. Maybe you can just watch me do mine, but um, it should be fun. Let me turn the camera over so uh, you can see what I'm doing. To start off, I have my Scooby-Doo Glam Light Mystery Machine makeup bag. Um, I absolutely love this and I'll show you what's inside. Here are all of my Color Street nail strips that um, I'll come back and show you this in a minute. I have a um, variety of polishes in here. So what do we have? We have this one from Chanel. This is from their, I guess their fall collection in the shade uh, Rouge Noir. Okay, I have a Wet n Wild Fast Dry Top Coat and then this Sally Hansen Base Coat that I always use those. I have some polishes from this brand, which is called People of Color. I saw somebody on um, YouTube talking about these. So the names of these are Island Vibes, Fantasy, and Dream. This is typically what I like. I like dark colors and of course I like sparkle and bedazzle, right? So my nail polishes kind of reflect that. I just got this um, for 50% off from Ulta for one of their sales, so uh, I might use this today. It's Nail Kale Base Coat, so we shall see. I have this shade from I Love Nail Polish, I-L-N-P. This is the shade called Salem. I have this polish from Revlon, which I absolutely love this color. It sort of does not look very appealing, this kind of murky green, but I've worn this before and I absolutely loved it. I got so many compliments. So what shade color is this? Commander in Chief. It's adorable. I love it. Then last year I got sucked into an advertisement to buy these nail polishes from the brand Pleasing, which is Harry Styles brand. So it came with these five and what I loved about it was I just loved the packaging. I thought it was so cute and just very simple and modern. Um, so this came as a set and then it also came with these nail stickers, which are actually pretty cute, uh, but I'm not going to be doing that today. I am going to be using um, the Color Street. So let me put these back. Okay, so let me tell you about Color Street. These are, um, it's real nail polish. They're polish strips that are, they're like 80% dry, right? So they are just um, wet enough to be able to take them off and handle them and put them on your nail. And then you can, um, and then just seal it with a base coat if you want. So let me open it up and tell you what, um, let me show you the color that I'm going to be using today. So each one of these comes with, of course, um, a nail prep pad, okay? It comes with this little um, emery board, okay? And then it comes with the nail strips. So you get more than you need for one application. 
and they're all different sizes because your nails are different sizes I'll show you and these can even be used on your toes so this is big enough for you know a big toenail or maybe you just have a big thumbnail or something but I usually use um, half of these I can get two say two sets of nail wares out of one of these packages and this is the one I'm going to be putting on today it kind of looks blue at this angle but if you see a little closer it's purple and it has blue and orange um, glitter in it the color of these is called Twilight Hour okay so this is called Poison Spark I don't I'm not I'm not feeling that one I have um, here's some accent nails these are just gold glitter Let me put these out here um, this is cute these are like little eyelashes you want to put on this is uh, would you call this hound's tooth I think that's that's totally fun. And then there's this ombre purple. Here are some Halloween ones with pumpkins. You see that? Would that match this? Not really. I kind of like the idea of like just all pumpkin nails. Um, there's this one, which is called Black Widow. Maybe I want to do Black Widow. Mm, I think I want to do Black Widow. I changed my mind. I'm going to do Black Widow. So let me put this back in here. Okay, put that there. Oh, and just, um, this is called Jack of All Trades. This one here. This one is like a dark hunter green. And it's called Would You Rather, with wood spelled like W-O-O-D. This is one I've used before. Um, and this is Aberdeen Aubergine. Obviously, you can, you know, mix and match these any way you want. This looks like, this is just an empty one, so I can toss that. These are nail wrap sheets from Sephora. So kind of, I guess, the same thing. I didn't even know I had these in here. Or more, my sister might have given, given them to me. Oh, this one's fun. Look at this. Little, um, little ghosts. And it says boo. So could I mix and match those? When I use this, which will probably be for Halloween week, I want to just use that on my nails. This is all black. It's called Midnight in Manhattan. And here is another one called Slate of Mind. I just wore these uh, last week. And this is, um, I wore these before last year. I absolutely loved it. I didn't see them online yet. Um, so when these come back and I want to get, but this is plaid. It's so cute. Okay, so we are going to put my stuff back in my bag. And we are going to use this one. off my nails just want to get if you have any old nail polish or adhesive or anything just so they can stick um, as easy as possible okay 
Okay, so that is done. Put that garbage aside. Use my emery board. I'll put the cost of these down below. I, I don't remember offhand, but they're pretty inexpensive. Um, so now I'm just gonna just shape my nails a little, and then also just a little bit. They recommend to sometimes just scrape the top again, just to make a little more um, make your nails a little more adhesive. So I love getting manicures, but I have to, you know, I have to think to do it. I have to go out of my way. Um, you know, I have to pay for it and, and then give a tip. And I used to love gel manicures because they would last so long. And that matters to me because my nails grow so fast that... Um, you know, actually, I can get a good three weeks out of a gel manicure. If I get a regular manicure, you know, it, it chips and falls off pretty quickly, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so now let me just... I'm just going to do this on my nails a little just to, like I said, give a little bit of a surface. You can use a base coat with this, but you don't have to. Um, you can use a top coat, but you don't have to. Okay. So, there. My nails are ready. And it's time to put on the strips. Scissors. Well, let's pull them out. So I always start by doing my pinkies and working my way around, okay? And then anybody with their hands, their your nails are not the same size on both hands. So with these strips, for example, I might use this one for my pinky on my left hand, but then need to use this one for the pinky on my right hand. So that's why it's nice to have this variety here. And when I do my nails and I end up having just leftover random ones, sometimes if the colors match together, it is fun to just do your nails all different patterns. Uh, but I'm going to just stick with this one today. And let me show you how one goes, and then I will just maybe put on some music and do my nails, and uh, you can relax and enjoy that. So first thing to do is there is this top little strip, right? And you peel that off. And then before I do it, let me look like this. So as you see, this side of it, it's a little too small for my nail, I think. So I think this side is a better, better use. So then this here peels off, right? So this is a strip of nail polish. So I'm gonna just pull off that end Stick it on my nail and then I just put it on this way okay make sure it's all adherence now when I get to the top this is a key you want to roll it around the top of your nail right oops excuse me and then just you can use like a, a little wooden uh, stick or I've seen a lot of people just use their fingernails. And that's it. 
Now this one here, is just too small for this hand, so I'm just not going to use it. I'll put that one aside. So I'll take the next one. Okay, so there you have it. That is how I do my nails, the quick and easy way. They are not perfect, but nobody's looking at them up close but me, so it doesn't really matter. It is good enough for what I need, which is just to have a little color on my nails and a little sparkle to cheer myself up and make my videos um, a little more interesting with colored nails. Let me know if you use Color Street, um, if you use something else. I haven't tried anything else other than Color Street. I have not tried on press on nails. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you can give this video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you would subscribe, I would really love that. And otherwise, um, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.